What's up, people? I'm Zog here with another step-by-step -step tutorial for you. This time we're here with some refined storage. This is a new-ish mod. I can't say it's new because it has been out for a few Minecraft versions, but it's also very powerful and it's a lot like Applied Energistics 2, but simplified. Now, simplified does not mean lacking features, it only means it's easier to get into and mess with. And those of you who have played with it before will know that. Now, before we get started into this, I would like to go ahead and say, if you like the video, please do hit the like button and subscribe for all the things I do, because I do have regular series going on. Also, there are some links in the description I would love for you to check out. But, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. The first step is always to collect your resources. So this right here is the resource list for this grouping right here. This is what we're going to get into in this tutorial. For now, just make sure you have a power source. You need some kind of a power source. Everything else we're going to make except the power source, okay? Have your own. Obviously, I have a creative power cell here, which is going to be just fine for me but you'll have to get something else. We're also gonna, we're gonna make the crafting grid, the controller, the solder, the disk drive with a 1K. Now don't worry, we're gonna get into some of the higher storage possibilities a little bit later in the video, but for now, this is what we're gonna get into. And once again, here is your resource list. The next step is to go ahead and smelt up 13 of your nether quartz into the silicon, which you're gonna see here in a second. You're gonna see what it looks like here in a second. There we go. So you need 13 of these guys. Then grab 11 quartz and 33 iron and put them in this shape in order to give yourself 44 quartz enriched iron. Now take 24 of the quartz enriched iron and make this shape, which should give you three machine casings. Now, grab 18 planks, eight cobblestone, two redstone, two iron, and your two slime balls. We're gonna go over here. First, we're gonna make a chest. Then we're gonna make a crafting table. Then we're gonna make two pistons, just like so. Then we're going to turn those pistons into sticky pistons. Now go ahead and grab three silicon, ten quartz enriched iron, one of your machine castings, uh, one diamond, and two sticky pistons. You want to go in here, put the machine casing right in the middle, four of the quartz enriched iron in the corners, the three silicon in the bottom three, well the two side, you see where it is, diamond in the top slot, take out the controller. Then put the sticky piston in the top and bottom middle and line the sides with the quartz enriched iron and take out the solderer. Now go over to your power source, put down your controller right beside it. The solderer is somewhere connected to that controller, doesn't matter exactly where. Grab two iron, two gold, and four silicon and run each of the two iron, two gold, and four silicon through the solderer. All of them, all, all, what is that, eight of these things. Now, take those four, or those eight things you just put through the solderer, grab four redstone, and shift click them all in until you get the final result of Two basic processors and two improved processors. Now grab one nether quartz and one glowstone and the iron, both of the basic processors, combine one of them with quartz and the other with glowstone. Now grab out one more machine casing, four more quartz enriched iron and the two improved processors and both of the cores that you just finished making. Put the machine casing in the middle, the, qu the quartz enriched iron in the corners, the two improved processors on the two sides, the construction core in the top, and the destruction core in the bottom, and then take out your grid. 
Now head back over to the solderer with two diamonds, two silicon, and two redstone. Run the diamonds through, then the silicon through, and then combine them all. And you'll end up with two advanced processors. Now go ahead and grab your grid, both of your advanced processors, your crafting table, your chest, and your last machine casing. And what you're going to run, do is run them through the solder in these pairs. The grid, advanced processor, crafting table. And that'll give you a crafting grid. Then run through the machine casing, the advanced processor, and the chest. Which will give you the disk drive, which you can then place both of these down right around the outside of your controller. Now grab out the rest of the stuff that you have in your chest and head on over to a crafting table. Put in one redstone right in the middle, three glass in the bottom and two side middle slots, one quartz enriched iron in the top slot, and four silicon around in the four corners. Take out the 1k storage part and put that back right in the middle. Then take three quartz enriched iron and lay that across the bottom, two glass in the upper corners, and three of the last three redstone right in the last remaining slots. Then take out your 1K storage disk and you can now feel free to walk over and place that into your SAS system. Now, congratulations, you have a working refined storage solution to your chest problem. But this is only going to allow you to hold 1,000 items. Just 1,000 items. Item types don't matter. Item types don't matter really just 1000 of any item it doesn't even matter but it's not a whole lot of space and you'll find that out pretty quickly so here in a second we're going to go through your other options now for each additional drive that you want to have this one is the 1k this is the 4k this is the 16k and this is the 64k here are your resource lists for each the 1k these are the items you need for each additional 1K that you want to have. So go ahead, jot them down, collect them for as many 1K drives as you're going to want. Then you have the 4K. And again, for each of the 4Ks, this is what you're going to need. So go ahead and jot those down. The 16K, same situation for each one of them. The resources are going up. Obviously, for obvious reasons, you're going to need more stuff for the higher storage components. And for the 64K, these are the items you're going to need. Now, the 1K is something that I did just show you. But go ahead and take the materials out. And what you want to do is go ahead and put in four of your quartz into a furnace. Now, I've already done this, and it's going to end up giving you four silicon. So I'm going to go ahead and take my silicon. You need to take the quartz and smelt up four of them until you get the four silicon here. And then don't forget the extra quartz. Now, you want to go ahead and combine your nether quartz and your iron to get four quartz enriched iron. Put one in the top slot. Put your redstone in the middle, three glass in those slots there, and your four silicon just like so. Take out the 1K. Then put that back in the middle. Then take the enriched iron, put that along the bottom, two glass in the top corners, and the three redstone in the remaining slots, and that'll give you your 1K storage disk. Now for the 4K. Go ahead and take out all of the supplies that you gathered for these. Now, keep in mind, I have 16 nether quartz set aside for this. It's 18 total. I have 16 set aside because I am going to act as though I've already smelted 16 of them, but there's two left. So go ahead and take all of those supplies out. Now, go ahead and take your nether quartz and combine it with two batches of iron, which is going to give you eight quartz enriched iron. Now head over to your solderer and you're going to put in four iron ingots and four silicon. And then after those are made into their other parts, you're going to put them all back in until you have four of the basic processors. Take the remaining items, put three redstone in the middle, three glass in each of the following slots. Take your, four, your silicon and put three in each of the corners. 
and then take three of your enriched iron and put them right there. Take out your three 1K storage parts. Now go ahead and put in the three 1Ks into those slots, the four basic processors into the corners, one redstone in the middle and one quartz enriched iron in the top. Take out the 4K and put that back in the middle. Put three of the enriched iron along the bottom, the glass in the top corners and the redstone in the remaining slots. And then you can take out your 4K storage disk. Now for the 16K, go ahead and take out all of the supplies that you have for those. And again, I have pre-smelted 52 of the quartz, 52 of the quartz into silicon. So we're going to be using those instead of the regular quartz. But of course, you'll have to smelt those yourself. Go ahead and combine the nether quartz and the iron. In this case, you'll need four batches of them to give you 16 of the enriched iron. Now go ahead, head over to your solderer, and you're going to put in four gold, four silicon, and four redstone in order to get four advanced processors. And then you're going to put in 12 iron, 12 silicon, and 12 redstone into the solder to get 12 uh, basic processors. Now, I'm going to assume that you have JEI installed, which is going to help with making these. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead into here. With the rest of your supplies, we're going to go up to the top, and we're going to go down to the 1Ks. And I'm going to shift click on the plus sign in order to get all of them in here. Should give you nine of them. We can shift click those out. We can then go to the 4K, shift click those in, which will give you three batches. And then you can go to the 16K, shift click that to give you one. And then you can even go to the 16K storage disk up here. And mind you, I've typed in 16K to find these. You can click on that and shift click in order to get those. And if you don't have JEI, I do apologize. The recipes start to get way more complicated, way more difficult to do manually. So I apologize. But more than likely you have JEI installed and you're going to be able to use the shift click method like I just used and you're not going to have too much problem. Now it's for the big guy. And this guy right here requires the most resources out of anything we've done thus far. So go ahead and take everything out. And again, I have pre-smelted two and one half stacks of quartz into two and one half stacks of silicon. So I'm gonna use the silicon, but don't forget to smelt this up before you continue. Now go ahead and make your 11 batches I did that the wrong way of uh, the quartz enriched iron recipe. Now head on over to your solder again and you're going to have a little while to wait because you need to make 36 of the basic processors, 12 of the advanced processors and four of whatever the diamond ones are called. This is a long process, and just in case you don't remember how to do this or you didn't see the beginning, basically you put in all 36 of your iron and it'll come out with a material. You put in 36 of your silicon, that'll bring out a material. You put all of those back in. You can shift click them right in and it'll make up all the processors. You do the same with the gold and the diamond and you'll get all of the processors that you need. 36 of the iron ones, 12 of the gold ones, and four of the diamond ones. Now it's time to go ahead and do the 64K. So we're gonna go all the way down using the JEI just like we did last time. And we're gonna go into the crafting grid to do, us, to do so. Let's go ahead all the way down. 1K, shift click, 27 is the number you should have. Then we're gonna go down to the 4Ks and you should have nine of them. Then you're gonna do the 16 and you should have three of them. And then you're gonna do the 64, you should have the one and you can go ahead to the 64K storage disk and get that guy. Now, there is everything in here that you should need in order to get your storage to a point where you don't have to worry about it anymore. I hope you really enjoyed the video, and if you did, again, please do hit the like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you would like to check out all the regular series that I have going on. Please also check the links in the description, and that's about all I'm going to tell you right now. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching, peeps, and I'll see you next time. Peace out.